One of the key facets of Speech Night is always to acknowledge the achievements of the class of 2021. Some gentlemen from this class have spent the entirety of their school with us at St Margaret's Great Grammar, and this is something we would like to celebrate. These three gentlemen have been a strong part of the life of the school, and as such, the school has been a key part of their lives as well. And so, from the grade prep students of 2021 to the graduating students of the class of 2021, congratulations. We take a few moments now to recognise Callum Borthwick, who is congratulated by Isaac Torfik. Ethan Burke, whose milestone is recognised by Elwood Coburn. And finally, Sam Desiatov, who's farewelled by Charlie Pettifer. Congratulations, gentlemen. Many thanks for all of your years at St Margaret's Berwick Grammar. There are people out there who say that nostalgia is a drug. And nostalgia can be a myriad of things, but the one thing is certain. To be nostalgic is to be human. We are born to remember, to be sentimental, to ponder how the last 13 years have seemingly disintegrated before our very eyes. It's frightening to recognise that we were the same puffy-faced children that strolled into Year 5. That year was also the year, the first year that this school had Year 12s. They seemed frighteningly giant back then, so it's almost laughable to think that we are in the same place. But the fact that our small, chubby selves survived this brave new world, thrived in it, is what we truly cherish. It is through the passage of memories that we remind ourselves who we are. So, be nostalgic. In fact, tonight, let's be nostalgic together. A lesson that we Year 12s have learnt this year is that life is full of expectations, but what truly matters is what you expect of yourself. Every now and then, step back, ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing, and if the words, because I enjoy it, or because I'll thank myself later, don't come out, then maybe it's time to reconsider. Obviously there are exceptions, so sorry year eights, you're not skipping that maths test. There's been so many great memories during my time at BGS. I still remember playing cricket on the oval with Mr Hibbins on a 30 degree day almost seven years ago. The funniest part is that it almost does feel like yesterday, a cliche I thought I'd never truly come to understand. Throughout the year, we've seen changes in school structure, principals, we've seen teachers come and go, buildings built, overs flooded, and the school has changed so immensely in the time I've been here. Be it the BGS and concerts that we all undoubtedly miss, the house events, the debating tournaments, the sports events, there was always something here for everyone at BGS. I feel so grateful and so blessed for the many opportunities that we've been given. Barrett Grammar offered me so many opportunities that a younger me never could have dreamed of. One that sticks with me is how few of us wrote and directed humorous plays for House Performing Arts for a few years running. In the first year, 2017 I believe, we decided last minute to write in Mr Crybitch, Mr Distin and Mr Peeper as Sith Lords. They had no lines, the whole point of their characters was to walk out on stage with cheap black cloaks and a cheap toy lightsaber that I found at Kmart, and what do they do? They go off script. Every year we wrote a play, they got more laughs than the rest of the play combined. And in my time at this school, it's this humour that has been one of the things that has stuck with me and many of the many other boys. From a broken tug of war rope resulting in a scrap heap of boys, right up to seeing Richards get disqualified from the bodyboard relay, because apparently four people on top of a flatable, sw inflatable swan doesn't constitute as a bodyboard. <laughs> but to paraphrase Bo Burnham, how can we joke at a time like this? Whilst there could certainly be an argument made that we have to be more serious in these times, the reality is a lot of us innately turn to humour in difficult or stressful times. 
A study from the University in Madrid found that there was significant increase in memes and humorous content shared on social media during the period last year where they were rapidly overwhelmed by the COVID-19 virus. In a time when physical connection was limited, the easiest and most beneficial connections to make were that of humour. And this year, whether it be on Discord call or walking around the school grounds, reminiscing about the fun times at this school has been a constant and an enriching experience. So that brings us to 2021, a year that is hard to feel nostalgic about. This year has been difficult as a year 12 student. You have the pressure of trying to perform your best in the midst of a pandemic and overcoming the psychological barriers that is the Groundhog Day scenario of being stuck at home for days on end. Even the most introverted here have felt the lack of social interaction and um, the toll it takes because humans are social creatures. Resilience has been one of the crucial things that we have needed this year. With the combined responsibilities of being a school captain alongside the pressures of being a year 12 student, there were bound to be times where it felt like too much to keep the aspects of our lives to a high standard. The fear of failure or the fear of not living up to the expectations of myself or the people who had trusted me into such an important role often made it difficult to know where to begin. Despite these moments of doubts, it was the, it was the words of our teachers, our peers and our families that kept me going and many others throughout the school year. Many schools or friends I didn't know um, didn't even use collaborative programs like Teams or had trivia nights and funny challenges throughout the year that kept us all going. And for this, I'm extremely grateful for Bert Grammar, the teachers and especially the boys who took initiative to create such challenges and uh, different experiences to engage us all in such a tough time. The positive energy that the school community brought about through the funny videos and the collaborative school efforts made everyone's day just that bit better. It was the collective effort of our community to introduce positivity, kindness and gratitude which made the whole St. Margaret's Bear Grammar community as tough as nails and resilient enough to fight through the uncertainties that this year has brought. Although I can't be sure about the scores and ATARs that will come out of the class of 2021, I know a lot of the boys kicked into gear in a time when we all honestly just wanted to give up. I saw many year 12s refuse to give up and to keep moving forward no matter what. Despite every barrier and every temptation just to give up, the year 12 stood up strong, which is something I was able to witness firsthand. I truly believe that every student worked hard and I believe that they embodied everything that our school stands for. For all that effort, I'm sure the boys will be proud of the work that I put into the final ever year of school, and maybe that is what we can be nostalgic about. So for many, it might feel like the last few months have been onerous, some pages inscribed with pointless words, and that's okay. But this year has still been an encyclopedia. We've done so much, and just by being here and grinding through to this point, it's a very worthy full stop. Actually, maybe a comma because there's so much more to be said. Or a semicolon, because... I'll cut you off there. Um, to the year seven who have just started their journey at this wonderful school, enjoy it. School is so much more than the classes and learning that we assume it to be. You'll make lifelong friends and memories and learn lessons that will stay with you forever. Believe it or not, some of you will eventually go on to see teachers as your own family. School is a place where you find out who you are your interests, what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, and maybe even the direction you want to take in life. Some of you might be having dreams and aspirations that you are striving toward even as we speak, whilst others won't have even figured it out by the time you're in year 12. I want you to know though that either is totally fine. In our cohort, we have boys pursuing specific dreams and then on the other hand, we also have boys exploring different pathways and different options. Life isn't a race, it's a journey that we all travel together, picking each other up when we are down and encouraging each other to keep pushing forward even when it gets tough. You will eventually go on to see your classmates as brothers as the years go by, strengthened by the invisible bonds of mateship, perseverance, respect, humility and the drive to succeed and to keep moving forward. It's a special feeling and I truly hope that you make most of the time that you'll spend at BGS as it's left both of us with memories and lessons that we will never forget.